I'm Rich Miner, extension, extension educator for Dairy and Livestock. And here I'm talking about a more application map from GPS on weight for flow data we can do with weight. So when we started looking into um, putting GPS in, our first one was a boat cell design. It was a New Holland with a Digistar system. That one was pretty easy. This is a um, drag line. You have to back up to make a cape turn to uh, figure out, to, you know, to turn around and go around. We can't do 180 degree turns like we were seeing in the demonstrations. So if you look at the manure spreading map you get from the commercial company's software, you get light colored Low, low rates of manure over top of darker colors, the greens, but they're not adding up the quantities coming through those layers. So that was our first thing that we noticed when we looked at the data. The second thing we noticed is that you're not getting a variable rate on the inside versus the outside of the terms. Just due to the area, dif the area difference of the curve, the, the curve, um, the area of a, of a circle expands at the rate at, at the square of the radius, so the outside area is much bigger than the inside area. But the flow rates are the exact same because of the equipment. The pumping rate or the tons per or pounds per second are the same. So when we started looking at this stuff, the K turn. This is just a demonstration of the K turn. But if you look over here, we tested the, the, the backup of the turn. You can see that our software is changed, is calculating different areas on the inside of the outside turn for each second that that mm -hmm. machine is traveling. When you put it all together, we put it down here. You can see the the different curve layers, but then you can see the complexity of the overlap polygons that you create for each second of time and somehow we had to add it all up through that layer and we can look at that down here where we, we can actually show I mean if you, if you take the you can imagine where the red lines are because they really don't show with the black backgrounds but the, the, the extra the places that got three layers of manure are the darkest and the places that got two layers or one layer are the lighter ones and for the first time, we were able to calculate for the entire field how much of the manure was applied at the right rate, how much of the acreage got the right rate, and it's not that great. Um, our, our average, the, the, the target rate was 10,000 gallons to the acre, and we're putting over half of our manure is in the upper areas. And if you look at the at the, the little black places, which are these small overlap sections, the highest one was 1.9 million gallons to the acre on a, on a piece of the field that got overlapped six times. It's just it's just phenomenal. So we, so we think this is the way the industry needs to go if we're going to go and and say that we're putting manure on at the right rate. We've got to be able to prove it. And right now, these kind of maps aren't proven.